Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part three. I've decided to do three parts today, and we left off with free freedom of speech and uh, the changing of the military, shuffling around the social engineering of the military and of the society, really, and the cracking down of um, whitey, as I like to put it, right? So it says here, U.S. slips to 47th in press freedom index. The United States 47th also owed its fall of 27 places to the many arrests of the journalists covering Occupy Wall Street protests. That's right. They're actually tied with um, possible, possibly being terrorists. So <laughs> they're terrorists as well. If you go out and protest, you could be a terrorist. And uh, also, let's not forget about journalists like Breitbart, you know, dies of a heart attack at supposedly around uh, right before releasing information. So there's actually journalists that go missing or get, quote, uh, all of a sudden suicide kill themselves so that's not even counting that so so um, many of you know are aware of this uh, feminist ban in Russia they're there to create instability and they went into church and they said oh Putin you're an evil evil man inside a church while people are worshiping now, that's something that I personally like I said I'm not a religious person but that's something that you don't do that's not free speech that's encroaching on other people and in Russia, they actually have a, a ban against um, stuff like that. It's propaganda of homosexuality. So they're trying to shut that off because when they were communists under the Soviet Union, um, that was pushed. That was part of the thing. And uh, I noticed that they were wearing these, these ski masks, you know. You see like the Mexico, Mexican and the Eastern European uh, police, they'll be wearing these things, these SWAT militarized teams of police wearing these uh, ski mask type things. And then I noticed this, face kinis all the range on Chinese beaches. So while Westerners love to bronze, Chinese beachgoers are going all out to shield themselves from the sun's rays. So the sun rays are good, you know? That's why I stopped wearing sunglasses once I realized that it's probably not good, you know? It's like, you don't want to look directly in the sun, but the sun's rays are good for you, they're healthy. And it goes on here and it says in some cultures a tan suggest a life of outdoor peasant work while pale complexion implies luxury and success so see there you go superiority right and it's like that in india where they actually have creams to uh, to dye their skin white you can see the upside upside down world that's going on madonna sued for backing gay rights russian activists say she promoted homosexuality to minors says here the cost for promoting gay rights in russia is 10.5 million dollars if the lawsuit against madonna makes any headway anti-gay activists in Russia sued the singer Friday for asking fans at a concert to wave pro-gay pink armbands she had distributed the AP reports. She violated a new Russian law that forbids a promotion of homosexuality to minors, some of whom were apparently at the recent show. So it says here that uh, a, law a lawyer representing the nine activists say they are not stuck in the Middle Ages. No one is burning anyone at the stake or carrying out an inquisition said modern civilization requires tolerance and respect for different values but madonna has upset russians in other ways like stomping on an orthodox cross on stage supporting uh the band that that feminist band after the band was sentenced to two years in prison madonna asked all those who love freedom to condemn this unjust punishment next up florida police officer slams woman into car and goes to jail so that's right so I just check it out real quick suspect in a hit and run when Geraci thought Bonds wasn't listening to him he slammed Bonds into her car several times it, it was illegal what was that what he did to me so the crazy part is they say what we determined that what we saw in the video was inconsistent with our policies or what our policies allow and what state statute allows as far as police brutality so maybe it's a little more tight in Pensacola where in other places they would be on paid vacation so she said oh this should you know this was illegal well what if they make it illegal that the cops can just beat the hell out of you right AD, uh, APD video oh you surrender huh so it says here Albuquerque police released videos Thursday that show officers tasering one man and punching and jumping on the back of another who was screaming I surrender the second man was being held at gunpoint by another officer who had a boot on the man's head 
So remember what I said about infiltration of your society. They don't believe the truth about it until you get a boot on the head. Well, there you go. You know, a few bad apples. Are they just a few bad apples? Or is the whole tree rotten? Or is just the whole system rotten? Said he was charged Thursday with misdemeanor counts of battery and aggravated battery and two other officers remain under investigation. To be honest, the only reason cops were able to get away with this is because the crimes for not obeying government authority has become so stiff, right? They've become more harsh. So people cannot defend themselves against these political law enforcement officers, whereas the laws for them have gotten more lax. Like I said, half of them go on paid vacation. Parents concerned that cafeteria palm scanners will implant Mark of the Beast on children's hand. Louisiana Public Schools' decision to purchase palm scanners to speed up lunch lines, and uh, it says here in payments, has been met with religious opposition. So you better be careful. Religious opposition like vaccines, you may be called... Um, you may have psychiatric problems and they're worried about the mark of the beast and stuff like that but you know i remember somebody telling me about i don't know how much truth is in this about the all electronic debit and credit transactions have a code attached to them like 666 and all you know if you're using the money the money that uh the federal reserve notes i mean that's a pretty luciferian satanic uh illuminati uh you know, basically talus or whatever you call it. It's basically the mark of the beast, so it's already happening. Researcher demonstrates first backdoor hack into the human brain. So it's the first ever, right? Oh, wants to preserve a science fiction, see? So, no, fuck that. That shit already existed for a long time. It's called microwave technology. Barry Trower, type that in, Barry Trower, um, microwaves. And he goes into it. So they've had this for a long time. And there's something called silent sound spectrum. It's a patent technology used for mind control. Go in there and check it out. Links will be posted. So this, they always make it seem as if this shit is sci-fi. It was, oh, was sci-fi back in the day. No, they actually had it. The government and the powers to be had it before. They put it in TV shows while your uh, while your cover, while your defense, your your firewall was down, and implanted all this programming to think that it's sci-fi when it's not. It actually existed a while ago. You know, which makes sense. Why would the government give a shit about all digital TV broadcast signals? Well, it has to do with silent sound spectrum for mind control. So, glad I quit TV uh, broadcast television four years ago. Almost five years ago now. Future shock. IARPA, I guess that's DARPA's cousin. CIA look to forecast future major world events. So, it says here uh, that they're going to be able to predict. It says here the future of uh, foreign assassinations, coups, and terrorist attacks. Well, it's pretty easy when the CIA and intelligence agency, black ops, are actually carrying out the coups and terrorist attacks and the foreign assassinations like Israeli does uh, with the Iranian scientists. So no surprise there again. A town hall spies on every corner pursuing smokers. Police allowed to track cell phones in the United States without court warrants. So after 9-11, I don't, I don't really think that a warrant's even justified or, or, or even really needed at all or even considered. That's what I wanted to say. It's not even considered. But uh, on August 18th, U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that Americans have no reasonable expectation of privacy when carrying cell phones, allowing police to track GPS signals without a warrant or probable cause. So those little, um, that's what they are. They're GPS devices. They don't just radiate you and sterilize you. They also uh, are beaming your location with these cell phone, cell phone Wi-Fi towers, which are also used for mind control. And which is why you see them scattered all throughout towns and cities and along highways in the past, what, six years? There's just a exponential number of them going up. And they don't care about the public's uh, health, the safety. It's the government that actually allows these big, huge telecom companies to come in there and start uh, um, planting these things so they've been tracking you. Your phones have been always bugged. As long as there was phones and they had a little operator uh, pulling the little cords out, uh, what do you call that? You know what I'm talking about, back in the 30s, whatever, or even before that. They, you were already bugged. You were already being listened to. So mobile phone companies can predict future movements of users by building a profile of their lifestyle. So your future location is calculated, calculated using data from your phone says um, university made location predictions of users with an error margin of just 60 feet so you know there's no limit to how involved our smartphone is in our day-to-day -day lives so I just, yeah all the technology that has been handed to the slaves 
has come through the military industrial complex. That's who it's made for, through the military. They say marketing, but it's about data mining, getting your information and for defense applications. And of course it's paid with the slaves' tax dollars, the research and R&D basically for these complexes. So this technology only trickles down to you after it's been uh, basically controlled until they know that they can control this technology. Put a little safe keys on that. But it's been accused of invading privacy. That's right. U.S. government is secretly spying on everyone using civilian security cameras, say WikiLeaks. So it says here, cameras using facial recognition to log people's activity and uh, released by the intelligence Zionist proxy WikiLeaks. So I don't think that's any kind of real leaking thing. It's coming straight from the top, letting you know what's going on to scare you. Disturbing echoes. And I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to inform you. So do with this information what you will. Don't live in fear. So here, disturbing echoes of CIA officials in the hit film, The Born Identity. So, ooh, it echoes a movie. Hmm. Anyone who takes a photograph at high-risk locations is logged as a suspected terrorist on a vast network of secret spy cameras linked to the U.S. government, according to leaked emails. So, yeah, all these cameras I've seen in Chicago and downtown when I was there, they're everywhere. They're on buildings. And I just assumed, I just assumed that those things were being tapped into by the Chicago Police Department. So they are. It confirms that I'm not going crazy, right? Uh, trap wire. So it says here that I'm not entirely sure uh, this is new, so to speak. They've had this capability for years from the trap wire system. It says uh, formerly Abraxas applications, a subdivision of intelligence contractor Abraxas, and staffed almost exclusively by the CIA, spies for hire. So this is what they're talking about. It's been around for a while. And, you know, your televisions, you know, there's probably cameras in there too. NRO successfully launches three satellites with fourth in the wing. So the National Reconnaissance Office, you don't really hear about them too much, right? They're actually one of those agencies that get things done, like black ops and that. So, But, yeah, they're uh, putting out some more spy satellites. So, you know, this whole thing about drones, spy drones, well, shit, you've already been spied on by the NRO for years, decades. And they got a U.S. Army spy blimp spotted hovering over New Jersey. May take up cargo duties. Oh, yeah, cargo duties, right? Yeah. Now, those blimps are up there to stay now. They're going to start uh, being up there real high so you can't see them, running on solar power, spying on everybody. Spying the sky drones to patrol Britain's shores for terrorists, smugglers, and illegal immigrants. So, good. That's good. Makes you feel safe, isn't it? Airport-style screening to be considered for trains and tube stations. So... Yeah, this is from August 19th, so now they're going to do the airport screening uh, in train stations. We'll see they're already doing that in the United States. TSA expands invasion to California train stations and bus terminals. And it's funny because they call them uh, Viper teams, which they are. They're a bunch of snakes. TSA chat downs investigated at Boston Logan's airport. They're investigating complaints of airport security officers that the chat down program has become a magnet for racial profiling. And you can be rest assured if you're a white male between the ages of, let's say, 18 to 40, 45, right? And you have maybe a beard, longer hair, or whatever, right? Shaved head. And you're not wearing a suit, you can be rest assured that you are being watched by the, by the, by the behavior detection teams, the TSA, Homeland Security, as a possible domestic terrorist. So it doesn't just go to uh, minorities. But it, it, it takes the attention away from like I said, uh, white people who are also under attack. So we have GOP convention will use behavior recognition software on video surveillance cameras in Tampa. So it says here this recognition software will be on dozens of video cameras that will provide round-the-clock surveillance at many of the venues where the GOP convention will take place August 27th. So they don't just have people, they have these programs, these biometric programs that look for abnormal activities, send real-time alerts to security personnel uh, and take deep dives into the intelligence that the system has called, uh, collected over the course of time. Sorry about that. So they say it's a good example of how police are moving to a proactive posture. In other words, it means they're invading your privacy. They're, they're invading your life. Anti-terror exercise planned for D.C. skies. I don't think it's going to really help, though, because Noran was basically told to stand down before 9-11. So oh, and the black box standards are coming for cars. That's right. They'll be effective September 1st, right? Oh, the problem is that they've already been in cars since, what, 1996? They've been in all GM cars since 99 and many other makes and models since 96. In the UK, they're going to have a spy on every corner. 9,600 missions of council snoopers. 
that uh, will basically spy on dog fouling and dropping litter are being targeted. Hidden cameras used to catch people putting garbage out early. In the U.S., waste management and garbage drivers are snooping as well. Thank you.